Hi, welcome to Math Heuristics. This is Mr. Danny Lim. Today we'll be doing a lesson, Fractions 2A. Let's take a look at the question. Cindy spent $30 on some books and 4 seventh of her remaining money on some pens. If Cindy had one third of her original sum of money left, how much money did she have at first? Okay, be before we begin um, drawing the model, I want to bring to your attention the part here, remaining money. Very, very important. Okay, we have to read this properly, remaining money, 4 seven of her remaining money. Okay, now let's um, start drawing the model. Now, Cindy spent $30 on some books, so we draw $30. Okay, this small bar here represents $30. Then, this white bar is her remaining money. Now, she spent 4 seven of this remaining money on some pens. So, we need to cut them into 7. And then, out of these 7 units, she spent 4 units because 4 seven. So, 4 seven, these are spent on pens. Now, then she's left with 3 units. Now, these 3 units is actually 1 third of her original sum of money. So, if this is 1 third, 3 units is 1 third. These 3 units will also be 1 third. Now, 1 third, 2 thirds, then here will also be 1 third. Now, we know that 3 units is equals to 1 third. So, here there should be also 3 units. There's 1 unit here. So we need to cut this into 2 units. Okay, so from here we know that 2 units is equal to $30. Then we find 1 unit, 30 divided by 2, 15. They are all together 9 units. So 9 times 15, which will give you 135. Okay, this is your final answer. I repeat again, the remaining money is very important. 1 third equals to 3 units, so you can equalize all the 3 units. And then find the part where they give you the these two units where it is equals to 30. Okay, answer is 135. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you very much.